Good morning and welcome to your Barbados Today News update for Monday, April 4th. More Barbadians are stepping forward for professional help to cope with challenges now that COVID-19 restrictions have been lifted. Word of this from Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Center for Counseling Addiction Support Alternatives, CASA, Edmund Grimes. Speaking at a church service on Sunday to celebrate the organization's 22nd anniversary, Grimes noted that people were seeking help particularly for substance abuse through the organization's recently launched mental health hotline. Quite often we talk about substance abuse. Substance abuse doesn't often or doesn't always start with just experimenting and aiming to be cool. Sometimes it starts with an underlying problem. And uh, if we can tackle those problems and you know, bring people counsel to help them to find their solutions, then they may not turn to substance abuse. They may not turn to substances at all. So that's definitely one of the aims of CASA. Thank you so much. Welcome. Grimes told Barbados Today this increase in the need for counseling requires the organization to bring on more counselors. As a result, he says, CASA will have to step up its fundraising activities to maintain its operations. And the final event for the month will be a flea market to raise funds. That is on Saturday, the 30th of April at the Barbados Union of Teachers um, there, uh, there in Hothersill. So they, they have a free market there occasionally and we will be there as well. Government is not in a position to consider salary increases for public servants in the current economic environment. So says Special Envoy on Investment and Financial Services, Professor Avinash Prasad, in response to a recent revelation from the Congress of Trade Unions and Staff Associations that it will be seeking increased pay for public sector workers, given the rising cost of living. Prasad explains the government has already spent millions to save public sector jobs during the COVID-19 pandemic, and the economy is still yet to recover. So it's totally understandable that people are concerned about um, cost of living. Uh, we're trying to do our best uh, to get uh, cost of living down, as you saw in the budget, with our uh, freezing of, of freight um, of a tax on freight uh, as of the prices of freight two years ago um, and uh, and the f uh, and reducing the tax on um, on fuel and I think you've seen some of that at fuel pump already um, but as you say and if you look then also at the wider context of covid um, and the war and the cost of these measures, um, the fiscal space is, is very, very tight. Um, we have built up significant amounts of debt because we've made a choice not to respond to the crisis by shedding labor. Professor Passad admitted that while the union's calls were totally understandable, they are, however, unfavorable given the current developments. I'm not alone in in being someone who strongly believes in unionism and believes in the Barbados model of workers being represented by unions. And the unions are doing their job in raising the issues um, uh, that workers have. And what government has to do is, is to try and fit it all together, make the, to square the circle. Um, we, COVID cost us a billion dollars. And there are multiple ways in which we could have um, paid that a billion dollars. Um, we could have cut a lot of government expenditure is one way. Um, we chose not to, and that's why our debt went up, and people have complained bitterly about debt going up. Um, but we felt that the debt going up was the way we could protect workers. In other news, this Monday, Barbadian consumers are paying more for petroleum products. As of midnight on Sunday, the price of gasoline rose by 14 cents to $4.13 per litre, diesel moved to $3.45, and kerosene to $2.11 an increase of 14 cents and 31 cents, respectively. Meanwhile, the adjusted price of the LPG 100-pound cylinder will be $167.69. The 25-pound cylinder will retail at $47.02. The 22-pound cylinder, $41.55. And the 20-pound cylinder, $37.77. Government says the hike has been triggered by economic sanctions imposed by the West on Russia, which have resulted in higher world oil prices. In last month's budget, government capped the value-added tax on gasoline and diesel 
to help shield consumers from the full increase of refined petroleum products. Now for today's COVID-19 update, 204 cases of New cases of the viral illness, 113 females and 91 males, were recorded on Saturday from 960 tests carried out by the Best Dos Santos Public Health Laboratory. The positive cases comprised 55 persons under the age of 18 and 149 who were 18 years and older. The number of people in isolation facilities was 68 while 1,421 were in home isolation. There's regional and international news after this short break. More oxygen means more energy, means more adventure. Cure Oxygen, natural spring water infused with more oxygen to improve your energy, immunity and performance. The next generation of hydration. Cure Oxygen, nature's ultimate water. Caribbean Cool is a refreshing juice drink that contains 100% vitamin C that you can enjoy any time of the day. It has a refreshingly awesome range of Caribbean flavors. Moby, orange, fruit punch, pineapple, sorrel and pineapple coconut. Suitable for any occasion. Caribbean Cool. For regional news, Antigua and Barbuda's Prime Minister Gaston Brown is taking issue with Jamaica's decision to nominate its foreign affairs and trade minister Kamina Johnson-Smith for Commonwealth Secretary General. CARICOM has thrown its support behind the sitting Secretary General, Dominican-born Baroness Patricia Scotland, and Brown contends Jamaica's move is all wrong. More in this report from ABS Television. Prime Minister Brown says while he believes Johnson Smith is duly qualified, Jamaica's move could have far-reaching consequences. What will happen is that um, you will have an abridged term, and when our rotation comes some, sometime in the future, I can see a, another region arguing that uh, we don't have the capacity to, to serve and that you know um, we, we, the, the Secretary General who served would have uh, been brought into disrepute and would have been replaced. It's customary for SGs to serve two four-year terms. However, Baroness Scotland's tenure has been controversial. But the Prime Minister says he's hopeful CARICOM will unite on the matter. And there's a push now to have a meeting early this week um, and hopefully we can have a consensus and we can dissuade Jamaica from not um, proceeding on this particular um, issue and for us to support Baroness Scotland. And any, you know, Baroness Scotland is a Caribbean. Elections for Secretary General will take place at the Commonwealth Heads of Government Summit in June in Kigali, Rwanda. On the international front, an early morning shooting in Sacramento, California left six dead and 12 injured. The shooting took place around 2 a.m. on Sunday in downtown Sacramento, just blocks away from the state capitol building. More from Reuters Television. Victims, um that were distraught, um, victims that had blood all over uh, their clothing, um, weren't able to get medical attention because of the, 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 the medical teams were dealing with other um, victims, unfortunately, that had um, more uh, you know, critical injuries. And family members trying to find out who and what, if it was their loved one that was on the floor. And I think that one, to me, just looking and listening to a mother saying, I, I, I want to find out if that's my son. My son's not picking up his phone. That to me was just like, what do you say? That's news, but for the very latest, visit us at www.barbadostoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, or like us on Facebook. And sign up for our breaking news alerts via WhatsApp. We're also on Izumi Media in bus terminals, as well as screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. You can also hear us on Capital Media HD 99.3 FM.